So uh, what I do is that when I read a book, um, I as I read through every single page, I make a deck. I'm gonna use uh, this dictionary, which is the Taco Boto dictionary. And what's nice about this dictionary is that you can make little um, lists that you can list something, such as like, for example, this right here is the first page of this book, but officially it's page nine. So I list it as page nine, and as I read through it. I'd go like, okay, oh, I don't know, like, this word, and then you'd write it in the deck. That's what I do when reading books, and I use my phone. Do it same as if, uh, since you have an Android phone, you could also, like, write things for when you don't have furigana. So you'd be like, aha, uh -huh, that's, that's this kanji. So you could do it, these two, and you, like, fill up the, the list. Um, so you have a whole lot of words in the list. After that, you can uh, go to Anki and make a deck that I'm also going to call nine for page nine. And then you go this and click send to Anki. And you go way up here to page nine and OK. And it makes this right here, sends it into the Anki deck. And then you have it in the Anki deck and you just hold it and you click export. Click OK, and then exports it, and you click Send rather than Save the File. And you can save it right into um, Google Docs somewhere. Save. So then it saves the thing. And that's basically what I do on my uh, phone. So after I send it to my computer, I open the deck that it'd be in. So in my Google Drive Anki deck, I have a uh, it right here. So then I download this and then I'd open it in Anki. And it's like doo 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 doo. And you get your foil and Anki. And you go help export card text. This is an add on. So here's Anki add ons and it lists the kind you have. I have export cards of text V221. Uh, view on add on page. So this is the one I use. And you go help export card text. And you go over and locate the deck you want to export. Um, I would not include the verse verse cards because then you just get double. So you want all fields and stuff, and you want to change where it's uh, being pasted to um, a location you'll find it. I just do my desktop. Then I click OK, and then um, ex export it. And then I go to Google Doc to some kind of like throwaway Google Sheets um, and click Import, Upload. Select a file from your device, desktop, and then we're going to look for Anki export and click open. Then you wait for it to upload. Um, and then you just uh, replace this spreadsheet and keep it as a tech automatically because it doesn't really matter. Um, Google Sheets is good at detecting what they're supposed to do. I mean, you could do it. And then it goes over and it'll have the list from the deck made into, you know, an actual list. Um, so a lot of times this will be like super long because, you know, it's from a whole page and I just did two quick words to show you how this works. But anyway, you delete this row and then you copy the rows that are important. This right here is like the kanji row and you paste it into wherever you're going to go over and have your um, stuff. So here's my example of Inky. You have like your kanji and um, for me, I tend to do kanji, kanji and furigana, hiragana. Um, the meaning and then whatever section the stuff is from. So it's from the prologue rather than like chapter 9 from the game clan ad. So that's just the order I tend to do it. People could do it other, wor other ways. So in that case I'd have these two over here for kanji, kanji furi, and then um, hiragana, and then meaning. So right over here um, Takobako doesn't have the best um, meanings, so a lot of times I will edit them so that you get one. So you might just make it a star, though in this case, planet is a better um, definition and just delete the rest. Uh, something I started doing, which is in my um, Pokemon deck, is to make a, set, a meaning for typing, for typing Accudex and a meaning extra to help define the meaning. So like tied together or to be connected to, to link to. All the different words will be kept because I like them all, but one in particular I think I'd have an easier time typing if I was typing in Naki deck.
for that, uh, then you just do planet for typing. And then the explanation as in not including Earth would be in the notes of the deck. So right here, sky, but you don't really need notes for this. And something you might notice is that Takabako doesn't capitalize um, their definitions. So what I do for that is um, have a empty Anki area and I use the capitalization um, formula from the internet, which is this. And you just go over to your thingy and you just paste it in there. And it takes a little bit, but then it loads the page and you have planet and sky capitalized. So you just copy the capitalization and do down the whole column. And you got planet and sky and it does it with all the words, which is what I did, you know, with planet right here. All these are now capitalized because I feel like it looks nicer when everything's nice and capitalized. So you, and it's really easy because you just quickly paste a real Oreo formula, the what you want to change, and then you copy it. It is important to note that um, the when that thing's in the thingy right here, it has Sora, which is right here in the, the, the A tab. But you can't copy the sky because it wouldn't um, work. So you basically have to go to to right here. This is where you can stop start um, copying things from there and below. So these two you can't um, copy when pasting stuff into um, for capitalization. Because right here you'd copy the formula rather than the um, number. So that's how that works. The next thing is, um, how do you make the kanji foodie real quick? So that right there is also super easy. Um, you have the two, I mean, the whole columns will have a whole bunch of words. Um, I might just show an example of a bunch from taking it just from here, just so that you have like an idea of like how much easier this makes it. Cause it's kind of hard to see like how much easier it is when you have a bunch. So like you have a whole bunch of words and what you do is click file, download, download as a comma separated values. Comma is very important for this. And you wait for it to download, uh, put it somewhere you're fine. I'm just gonna do my desktop. And then you wait for it to load and then you click file, import, upload, file, and you're in desktop, you find delete, open. Now, and this is the next super important thing you gotta do. You want to replace the current sheet and make this into tab. So this is a comma space document, but you're uploading it as a tab space document. This means you're uploading it incorrectly on purpose. So when you do this, what it does is that it combines the two tabs together with a comma. Then you click help, find and replace, comma, with the little tab thingy, replace all, done, and see you have that tab on that side. And you just do the tabs down here. I think there's like a easier way for your tech savvy to get that. And then you have this on this side and you go over and you do the exact same thing you did before, which is downloading as a comma. I import it, upload, file, delete is not the other one's delete, open, upload. So then right here you have kanji fujigana for almost all of these. There's a little bit of errors with um, non kanji words. So you do have to go through these and just go like that, but it totally like changes how long it takes for you to go through making a deck like this. And also you can make it like more deciding how you want to do it. Like um, it should be noted that with something like this that's complicated, you should do a space in between, um, not those two, the start of the new kanji. Anki has an issue. If you have them without a space, then the, the furigana will not show correctly. So you just do a space there and it'll look beautiful. And you just do that with all these and it's super, it, it's pretty fast when um, you're going through it. Or you might decide that you know tsuku, so you're just gonna do the the she part of shimu. And all you have to do is download this as something like, um, and you go over to Inky and you click import file. You want Inky tester. Do 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 do. That's on desktop, I'm sure. Inky tester sheet. And you click open. And it goes over and says, wow, you want, what kind of deck do you want? So I have lots of decks. I'm going to do the Pokemon deck and I'm going to do, uh, just send it into default because I don't want this. So, um, the names of my things are weird. So expression is the kanji. Field two, I don't have an sentence. 
So field two is um, reading. Uh, field three is my hiragana. Uh, field four is meaning. And field five was extra. And field six was section. Well, actually it was page number for um, this specific deck right here. You got page nine, notes, meaning, blah, blah, blah. Uh, meaning is the typing meaning in this case, for just for this specific deck, and extra was the extra notes. Uh, so that's what it looks like. You can click import. And it's like, wow, you made three notes. Uh, Cause I kept in the kanji, furigana, hiragana, meaning notes section. So when you're importing a deck like this, a lot of times you should just delete the um, title. So you, you'd click file edit, delete row one, and then you download this and you go back. That's still there. So like if I was going to be making my Pokemon deck based off of this thing, I would copy these and I'd paste it in delete instead. And then I go over here, click file edit, delete row one. A lot of times I'll also um, reorganize this so it matches. Uh, then you look at default and we have the deck, which is, you know, Furigana above the kanji, show answer, and you got meeting notes, Hiragana, and the page number. Uh, this is the typing version. <laughs> chicken, chicken, chicken. Uh, so right here's kanji fur. Um, I think the meaning was probably meaning. And they're like, yeah, the meaning was meaning. That's the benefit of having a typing deck. Um, so if I went over here and was like, help, I don't know, and you get the red. So, Furigana decks are pretty cool.